What's up guys? This video is going to be the beginning of a series where I configure NeoVim from scratch. So to get started, uh, the first thing you probably should do is head over to my blog. This blog is going to have every single command that I run in the video. So it'll be very helpful, I think. And I'm actually just going to copy and paste commands directly from it to show you that they all work. Um, if you don't already have NeoVim, you can install it with brew install NeoVim if you're on Mac. On Ubuntu, uh, sudo apt install NeoVim, and on Arch, pacman s NeoVim. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is create a config file. Um, so what we need to have is a folder called nvim for our config. And if you don't know, all of your config should be going in .config. Um, not all mine are in .config, but uh, this is generally where they're supposed to all be. I do have a lot of my configs in there. So cd into .config and then cd into mvim, and we'll clear some space. For now, you shouldn't see anything in there. It's completely empty. So the first thing we need to make is an init.vim. So I'm just touching init.vim. Uh, touch just means create. So we're creating that in home. That's what this tilde stands for, .config, which is where we are now, nvim, init.vim. So there you go. You see init.vim. The next thing we'll do is install vimplug. All you need to do to install vimplug is run this curl command. This curl command will pull down vim, vimplug and put it in an autoload directory inside your nvim directory. So essentially this auto autoload directory just autoloads anything that you put in it. And the only thing that we're gonna keep in it for now is just uh, vimplug itself. And you can see it in there if we do ls autoload. All right, so after that, we're going to make a directory for all of our plugins. So we'll make a directory called vimplug, where we'll keep all of our plugins. We'll cd in there. And then we'll make another file called plugins. And to get you started, I have a few plugins here that I think are just good, like a good starting point for if you're just getting started with plugins. So paste that in. You'll notice that uh, what it'll do is it will install all of its plugins into .config, nvim, autoload, plugged. So if you go in autoload after this is all done and being installed, it'll all of your plugins will be in a directory called plugged. Um, these are three that I'm starting with. So this is better syntax support. So if you open like a Python file or like a Go file or JavaScript or whatever, it'll just have better syntax highlighting. Um, this is a file explorer, which I'll demo later in the video, and also auto pairs. So let's go over auto pairs really fast, just pre-auto pairs. Like right now, if I open up one of these curly braces, I don't close it immediately. Same with a parenthesis and so on and so forth. So we'll see what happens after I install everything. All right, so you can save this file, and then we'll see the out of there. Give ourselves some space. And now the, next, the last thing we really have to do before we can start installing plugins is source that um, plugins.vim, the stuff we just made. And so in init.vim, a lot of people put their configuration in here, but instead of doing that, I just source all of my different configuration uh, files, which I think you'll come to realize is a lot cleaner. So we just source our plugins right here. So .config, nvim, vimplug, plugins. You can save that. And we're ready to run some commands. So all we have to do is open up nvim. All right. And if you don't know, you can just put a colon. And if you put a colon, you can start running commands that plugins give you. So the only real plugin that we have now is vimplug itself. So if you type p and press tab, all right, all of the commands from vimplug are here. So the ones that we're interested in right now are we'll start with plug status. All right. So it didn't find polyglot, it didn't find nerd tree, and it didn't find auto pairs yet because we didn't install them. So what we'll do is install them. So plug, oh, install. And so now we're just installing all of these plugins. Um, eventually you'll have, probably have a list down to here. Um, but for now, just these three. And if you ever wanna update the plugins, you can run plug update. If you ever want to see the diff between the plugins you had before and the ones you have now, you can run plug uh, diff, 
you'll see that we have no um, no diff because we never had any plugins installed before now. And any plugins that you get rid of from plugins.vim, if you run plug clean, it'll get it'll just get rid of all the plugins off your system. So if you're not using them anymore, it'll just get them all out of here. And the last thing is plug upgrade, which will just plug or it'll just upgrade vim plug itself, right? So let's see some of the plugins that we just installed. All right. We'll quit out of here. So the first one that we can look at is nerd tree. So if I press N and press tab, all right, all of the nerd tree commands are here now. So let's do a nerd tree toggle. All right, and now we have this nice explorer. So we can open up this file and then we'll close nerd tree toggle. There we go. The other, um, the other plugin that I installed uh, that's pretty obvious to see and I showed you earlier was the auto pairs. So if I go like this, awesome. It auto closes parentheses, uh, curly braces, brackets, you name it, right? So let's get out of that. And the last thing I wanted to share with you guys was I didn't get all this knowledge, just, you know, I wasn't born with all of this, right? So Vimplug has a nice repository here, uh, great readme, awesome documentation, and that's where I got all of the commands and everything that I needed to do this video. So I recommend checking out their blog or their uh, readme and their GitHub page and, uh, you know, starring it. And that's pretty much it.